Hi, my name is Angela. Welcome to the Release Readiness Training for Release 13. In this session, we'll talk about what's coming in Oracle Financials Cloud for credit management. For the enhancement covered in this training, we'll give an overview, followed by more detail to explain how you can use them and what business value they bring. Then, we'll walk you through a demonstration. Next, We'll explain what you need to consider before enabling these features in your business and what you need to know to set them up. The credit management feature in Release 13 provides rich and easy to use credit management capabilities in the following areas. First, comprehensive credit profiles for customers and customer accounts, which you can use to capture a company's credit policies. You can capture a full list of credit-related attributes, such as credit limit, credit classification, credit review cycle, last review date, and next review date. Second, streamlined credit review process. Based on customer's credit profile setup, credit reviews will be created automatically when credit checks fail or when periodic reviews are due. Each credit review is represented by a credit case folder containing the credit data and pre-calculated credit score for the customer. You can define credit case folder templates to capture the default credit data points to be displayed and a default scoring model to be used for credit score calculation. Besides credit reviews generated by the system, you can also conduct ad hoc credit reviews by creating credit case folders manually. Third, effective management of credit review lifecycle. A new work area called credit reviews is introduced for credit analysts and credit managers to better manage their daily work. Credit reviews that are in their queue or pending their approval are displayed by default when they go to the work area. After a thorough review of the case folder content and additional research, you can enter the recommendations for the customer in the case folder. Typical recommendations include increasing or decreasing credit limit, updating the credit classification, and updating the next review date captured in the credit profile. You can either approve the case folder yourself or specify another user as the approver. Once approved, the recommendations will be implemented automatically. The entire credit review lifecycle is streamlined and automated as much as possible. Last but not the least, flexible scoring models and third-party integration to import credit data. You can define scoring models using more than 200 seeded data points. If a scoring model is included in the case folder template definition, when a case folder is created based on the template, the application will calculate a score and represent it on the case folder. Some data point values are system derived based on the receivables data. For the other data points, you need to populate their values. You can use the provided Excel spreadsheet template and file-based data import, FBDI for short, to import the data point values for customers and accounts. First, let's talk about the credit profile management for customers. As mentioned in the previous slide, customer profiles and the customer account profiles now support a full list of credit-related attributes, credit analyst, credit review cycle, last review date, next review date, credit classification, credit limit, credit currency, tolerance, risk code, credit rating, credit hold, include in credit check, conversion rate type, and expiration offset days. You can choose to maintain these credit attributes in customer profiles or customer account profiles, or both. The values set in a customer profile by default apply to all accounts of the customer. If necessary, you can set different values on individual customer account profiles. Most importantly, the credit limit of a customer account defines the total credit that this one account can consume. The credit limit of a customer defines the total credit limit that all of its accounts can consume. Setting the credit profiles for customers or customer accounts is the prerequisite to most credit management functionality, including credit checking, 
Pirata Credit Review Generation, and Auto Assignment of Credit Analysts. You can set or update these attributes using either the Manage Customers page or the Customer Import Spreadsheet, FBDI. Most of these attributes can also be defaulted based on the Receivables Customer Profile classes. Now let's discuss how the credit review process is streamlined as much as possible. You can conduct credit reviews on a customer or customer account. Each review is represented by a credit case folder. Depending on the process, credit case folder creation is either automatic or manual. First, credit case folders can be created due to credit checking failure. When a customer or customer account fails a credit check and there's no active case folder for this customer or customer account, a new case folder will be created automatically. Second, Credit case folders can be created based on a periodic review cycle. The periodic review process creates new credit case folders for customers that are due for periodic reviews based on the periodic review cycle, last review date, and the next review date settings in the customer or customer account profiles. You can schedule this process to be run on a regular basis. Third, credit case folders can be created manually. To handle any ad hoc credit review requests, credit analysts can create credit case folders on the credit reviews page. You can use the Manage Credit Case Folder Templates setup task to define credit case folder templates to capture the default scoring model and the data points to include in a case folder. When a case folder is created automatically, a template is selected based on the credit classification of the customer or customer account and the review type, such as periodic review. The template scoring model and the data points are applied to the newly created case folder. Each case folder is also automatically assigned a credit analyst based on the credit analyst setting in the customer or customer account profiles. The effective management of credit review cycle is another important feature of credit management. The new credit reviews work area provides credit analysts and credit managers with the necessary tools to review and manage credit case folders. From the work area landing page, you can search case folders, view high-level information about the case folder, and take actions such as creating a new case folder, reassigning case folders to another analyst, and closing case folders. Predefined default searches are provided for credit analysts and credit managers to help them manage their daily work queue. You can drill down to the case folder details page, which displays all the necessary information of a credit review. The main information in any case folder includes a list of summary and high level attributes, the data points displayed based on the template, and the calculated credit score. You can view how the credit score is derived based on the scoring model and the data point values. When the credit score cannot be calculated due to missing data point values, you can enter the data point values and recalculate the score. You can also create and edit recommendations. Recommendations are a set of predefined actions that the application will implement automatically when the case folder is approved. Examples include setting a new credit limit, and adjusting the credit classification for the customer or customer account. You can also view the approval history of a case folder. The history includes records of when and by whom an approval or rejection took place. The available actions in the Actions menu are Refresh Data, Approve, Reject, Request for Information, and Withdraw. Integration with Oracle Social Network, attachments, and notes are also available on case folders to assist credit analysts with their daily tasks. Last but not least, let's talk about the scoring models and the data points in credit management. You can define credit scoring models using the Manage Credit Scoring Models setup task. Scoring models are used to calculate credit scores based on the values of the set of the data points you select. The credit management feature provides commonly used data points in categories that include agent, billing and payments, business information and credit, financial data, and references. 
Values of the agent and billing data points are derived automatically based on the data in Receivables Cloud. Values for other data points can be entered manually or imported from third-party sources using Credit Data Import. Credit Data Import uses the standard file-based data import technology and provides an Excel spreadsheet template for uploads. Credit management provides the information and tools to monitor and evaluate the credit worthiness of customers and make informed credit decisions. With a wealth of timely internal and external data, you can balance growth with financial stability by tailoring credit policies to your business needs and market conditions. As part of the Oracle Fusion Financial's Credit to Cash solution, the credit management feature helps to improve cash flow increase billing efficiency, optimize customer relationships, and instill corporate and fiscal discipline. Here is a summary of the credit management feature I have talked about today. This feature provides the information and tools to monitor and evaluate the credit worthiness of customers and make informed credit decisions. With a wealth of timely internal and external data, you can balance growth with financial stability by tailoring credit policies to your business needs and market conditions. As part of the Oracle Financial's Cloud Credit to Cash solution, it helps to improve cash flow, increase billing efficiency, optimize customer relationships, and instill corporate and fiscal discipline. This feature provides rich and easy-to-use credit management capabilities in the following four areas comprehensive credit profiles and policies, streamlined credit review process, effective management of credit review lifecycle, and flexible scoring models and third-party integration. In this implementation advice section, we'll go through what you need to consider before enabling these features in your business and what you need to know to set them up. This table shows key upgrade information for the new feature covered in the training. It's not automatically available after an upgrade. You need to follow the setup steps mentioned in the next few slides to enable the feature. This feature is included with the shipped job role credit manager. Here are the decision points that you may want to consider during implementation. First, what are the credit profiles set up for the customers and the customer accounts? As mentioned previously, credit-related attributes are captured on the customer profiles as well as customer account profiles. These attributes determine some critical credit management functionalities, such as credit checking, credit analyst assignment, and periodic credit reviews. Correct setup of these values is a key to a working credit management application. The second decision you need to make is what the credit scoring models will look like, which data points will be used, what the ranges and scores of the different ranges are, and what the weights of the different data points are. The third decision is what the credit case folder templates you need to define. Templates will be assigned based on the credit classification and review type. There are also some predefined templates you can further modify to meet your needs. As mentioned previously, credit case folder templates default the scoring models to be used in the case folders, as well as the data points to be displayed on case folders. Last but not the least, you need to consider the security access for your credit analyst and credit managers. Most likely, you will need to create customized roles with a selected group of privileges to control users' access based on your needs. The setup for credit management is performed via Functional Setup Manager. There are three setup tasks. Manage receivables lookups, manage credit scoring models, and manage credit case folder templates. The first setup that you need to do is to enable the credit management feature. Follow these steps. First, navigate to the setup and maintenance work area. Then search for the setup task, manage receivables lockups. 
on the Manage Receivables Lookups page, search for the AR underscore features lookup type. If this lookup type does not exist, you can create a first using the setup task Manage Standard Lookups. Then add a lookup code for credit management to the AR underscore features lookup type and save the changes. Follow these steps to define credit scoring models. Search for the setup task Manage Credit Scoring Models. You can also search for the task list called Define Credit Management Configuration. This task list contains two tasks, Manage Credit Scoring Models and Manage Credit Case Folder Templates. On the Manage Credit Scoring Models page, click the Add icon to go to the Create page and then enter the scoring model details and save the changes. Follow these steps to define credit case folder templates. Search for the setup task Manage Credit Case Folder Templates. On the Manage page, click the Add icon to go to the Create page. On the Create Credit Case Folder Template page, enter the case folder template details and save the changes. This table details the shipped job roles that will access the new features covered in this training. The Manage Credit Review Advanced Privilege gives additional manager type of permissions such as reassigning and manually closing someone else's case folders and approving case folders submitted by someone else. So if you would like to separate out these advanced capabilities, you will need to create customized roles with the selected privileges. The business processes associated with the new capabilities covered in this training are detailed here. The high-level business process is Manage Credit with the activity Manage Credit Reviews. The other high-level business process is Setup Order Fulfillment with the activity Define Credit Management Configuration. This concludes the presentation. Thank you for listening. You can easily pause and rewind any of these slides if you require additional time to take in the detail.